Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. If you did not get an opportunity to enjoy the snow moon last night, here's a viewer photo for you to take it all in. It was the peak of the full moon, although it will still look pretty full tonight. What a gorgeous shot sent into us with just a few clouds and those cascades. Absolutely love it. Now we have some changes where we're starting to see a few more clouds in the sky, but that's going to change again tomorrow. As we've talking about variable cloud cover all week, we go through a more clear day tomorrow. Then those changes come in that set us up for that chance for snow on Sunday. Here's a live look off the Mount Bachelor camera. First time we've seen a few clouds. This most likely is going to transition into a gorgeous sunset. So keep on, keep on with us and we'll look at that as we get closer to the evening. Here's what we're seeing on the satellite radar image. Those few clouds coming in. You are seeing some activity up to the north and northeast. At this point, nothing on the future track looks like it's actually going to show and fall here within the region. However, again, that is changing for a Sunday. I keep pointing to that Sunday because it's a pretty big deal. It's also the start of a substantial cool down. Here's where we are with our temperatures right now. We talked about this being another day with those temperatures going up and you can see we're in the low 60s in Redmond, upper 50s in Bend right now. Tomorrow should be one day that's just a bit warmer before we flip the switch and we start cooling way down. We've had this cold air moving on to the east. We're sitting in a much calmer area, although we have some fun wind patterns sitting there just to our west and southwest here within the region. You can see that we're just nice and calm tomorrow. And then as we go into Saturday, that's when that transition period begins and you see this right here. That is what looks like is going to develop in a trough that we see here on your local alert future track. As I mentioned, clear skies mostly for our Friday. You can see not seeing too much activity, a few thin upper level clouds. But as we get closer and we drop into that Saturday night to Sunday morning, we start to see the snow there along the Cascades, some coming through the region. You saw some rain. You notice how it's sticking around all the way through right now until Monday. This is not the end of it. It still looks like it's going to continue, but the good news is as we're looking at a good substantial accumulation along the Cascades, hopefully we'll get closer and we'll be able to give you some more definite totals right now, at least two to four inches during the day, then maybe even again in the evening. I just like to get a little bit closer before we actually look at that actual chance of accumulation totals. Here's where we are with our temperatures and we are still warming up overnight tonight with having a few more clouds in the region. You'll notice that we're back to just slightly warmer than we were last night. Just about average. We'll probably still see some teens in the Lapine area, but just slightly warmer tomorrow. The last day of our warm up. This is the peak of our highs. Then watch what happens when we get into the end of the weekend, the start of next week. We have the cold front that comes in on Monday, but right before that, there's a trough. So our temperatures go back to back, dropping from the trough to the cold front. Tuesday, mid-20s as our high and single digits at least overnight.